Hi guys. So I um, am first and foremost overwhelmed with the amount of positivity I got on my last video, which was another chit chat. And that chit chat was, you know, just an update, reaching 20k, buying a house, all this good stuff. And I did say if you wanted to see a budgeting video to put it in the comment section. Literally, I have like over 100 comments and it's only been up for like a day. So, I love you guys. Like, that video really kind of like put my mind in a different perspective and I owe it all to you all. I love you all and I do want to share my tips and tricks for budgeting with you all. So this is kind of like my thank you video. Um, so I've already done my eyes and my brows because I realized that I can't do that on camera. So um, yeah, we're just going to be doing foundation and kind of really just talking, really talking in this video. Now let me start off by saying I am not a financial planner by all means. This is just me being a regular person and how I save and what I think is most beneficial for me and hopeful, hopefully it will actually help a few of you. Um, so I have some notes here so if, I could, if I'm looking down that's why I have a notebook here ready to discuss a few things and my phone keep ringing, excuse my hair, I really didn't do anything to my hair. I'm doing my makeup right now. I might do my hair. I might not. Who cares? Let's get into it. Let me just stop rambling. Okay. So the first thing we're going to talk about your checking and your savings account. Now, I'm going to keep it funky with you guys. I do not have a savings account. And the reason I don't have a savings is because I put all of my savings in my checking. Now, that is not going to work for everyone, but it works for me. And let me tell you why it works for me. And I'm going to be using this still a foundation. It's like a dropper. Anyway, so it works for me because I'm the type of person I need to visually see my money and watch it stack up. Um, if I don't see it there, I don't know. It's just kind of like a mental thing. If you're that type of person that can't see your account below a certain point, then, you know, keeping it in your checking maybe for you. But if you're the type that just kind of like spends everything that's in your account when it's in your account, you definitely need a, a savings account all right I completely forgot to cover my dark spots <laughs> so we're gonna try to make this work while I have this foundation like already on my face good going Kim good going yeah so that's just the first thing um, you know saving your money in a checking account or a savings account and kind of figure out which one works best for you now after you've done that then you have a place where you can go and check at all times to see how much money you got, what, what we at, what we spending, what we not spending, all that. So the next thing is, especially if we're, we're, this whole video is just based on people trying to, you know, change. They're trying to buy a car. They're trying to buy a house. They're trying to buy something huge. And we're just trying to save up so we can do that. So the next thing you need to be really worried about is your credit score. Now, I have CreditKarma.com. Um, I actually have the app, actually. I go on Credit Karma a lot. And um, it will actually tell you your credit score, and it's free. All right, so um, you really need to keep your eye on your credit score when you're trying to get a house or you're trying to buy a car or anything like that. Because it's very important. That's what they're going to look at before they loan you the money. So you really need to make sure you're building that credit score. Now, a lot of people are like, okay, maybe I don't have credit. Get a credit card. One credit card. And when I don't, don't go spending a bunch on it. Like, I try to do, instead of paying for gas on my debit card, sometimes I'll just do that on my credit card. At the end of the month, I'll put probably like, $150 on my credit card or just pay it off um, so that's gonna build your credit number one that will build your credit um, now if you have a let's say you have a $1,000 limit on your credit card do not max that out that is what the companies actually look at they look at how much money you could possibly have 
oh my god this is like so <laughs> not matchy matchy <gasps> anyway this is my first time trying this foundation guys so don't kill me in the comment section i'm really this is my first time trying it and it's dark as shit but anyway um i bet we make it work though huh <laughs> i bet we make it work though um but anyway yeah you definitely want to um make sure your credit score is a one and like I like I was gonna say if you have a credit card don't max out the limit if you have a thousand dollar limit five hundred dollars at most don't go above that because it's kinda like your debt to credit ratio I actually don't know the terms like I said I am not at all a financial planner but this is just me trying to help so Make sure you're not maxing out that credit card. Um, when you have a, a huge limit and you're not using it all, that says positive things to invest, you know, to the mortgage company and to loaners and, and lenders and things like that. So make sure you're keeping an eye on that. But you are going to need to build your credit in some type of way. You can't just not build your credit. You're going to have to do something. Um, because you want your credit score to really reach those those sevens, you know. Um, that's pretty much should be your ultimate goal. Is to try to get that credit score. Enough about credit scores. Let's just say you got your checking and savings account. You got your, um, you have your credit score up there. So what else do we need to worry about? You need to worry about how much money you need to have in a bank before you're actually trying to make these purchases. And I just kind of came up with this on my own, just based on my own preference. And you're, you're kind of going to, you know, form this around your own. But um, I said I needed 5000 safe in the account that, that is never touched before I get a car. And I needed 10000 in the bank or, or checking or, I mean, or savings before you get a house. That's just my rough guesstimate. Just because I know some people kind of need numbers to think about before doing these things. And honestly, I feel like these are the safest numbers. Now, are they the best numbers? Heck no. You definitely want to have as much money as you could possibly have. But if you don't have it, just make sure that's what you have. You have 5000 before you get a car and 10000 before you get a house. Ooh. Um. Ooh. And when you go out to get your car, like, I don't think a first-time car buyer should buy a car that is more than 25000 And you can find a really good car under 20000 I found my Mercedes under 20000 And it's a 2012 and it had, I want to say, 40,000 miles on it. Like, you just kind of got to weigh out your options and do your research. Do a lot of research. Don't buy the first thing you see because you're going to hate yourself for it. You're really going to hate yourself in the end. Um, so, yeah. That's pretty much what I did. And... Then you want to kind of write down everything. After you have your checking, your savings, and everything, and you're trying to save, write down every automatic withdrawal. Like, I cannot stress that enough. You need to write down every single automatic withdrawal. Those things will add up and have you looking like boo-boo the fool when you think you got money in the bank, but that automatic withdrawal just came out. You need to make sure you stay on track with when it's coming out, and kind of plan it. Do you want it to come out your first check or your second check? you got to kind of plan that out um, accordingly. And don't have everything coming out of the same check if that doesn't work for you. Some people that may work for, some people it doesn't work for. But make sure you have a strategic plan on what's going to come out when. Okay? And maybe the way I do it is I use one check for sacrifices. Like, as far as, like, my rent goes, I try to have as much coming out of that check as possible so I don't even look for that check to be anything that I can 
ball light on. Like, that's how I think about that. Um, and then, like, the next check, I just think of that as, okay, that's my saving check. That's the check that either I buy a new purse or I save that money. And that that works for me. It might not work for you, but that works for me. And though, make a monthly goal. Like, you have to have a monthly goal. Um, like, let's say, let's, let's put some numbers out there. Let's say you have $2,000 in your bank account right now, okay? And your two-month goal is that you want to have, you want to make sure that you have $3,000 in that account that isn't being touched. Not say it hit $3,000 and then rent came out. No, I mean like $3,000, we're stable at $3,000, and we have a little extra to play with. So, how are we going to get there in two months? Okay, let's just say you make... $800 every two weeks. That's roughly $10, a $10 an hour job. All right? So you're going to get two checks. And that's roughly, what, $400 a week. So kind of, you got you to gotta strategically think about this. Um, where is my bronzer? Sorry. You have to literally strategically think about this. Um, then you think about, okay, what do I have coming out automatically that I know I have to pay and I cannot go around that? Rent. Okay. So like I was telling you guys before, that first check, that $800 check that I get, I just say, okay, that's going to be stolen. Like, that's going to be for my rent. And, um, you know, make sure your rent is paid with that check. And don't touch that check. Don't make any big purchases during that those two weeks. You kind of got to sacrifice until you make it. Like, you're going to have to knock out some things like cable for instance i don't have cable i don't need cable i have um, netflix i have hulu like i have all these other things but i don't have cable because cable is expensive <laughs> i have the internet and that's it you kind of gotta sacrifice and my friends know i've never had cable and i ain't dying for it either so after you've paid that rent just think about that next check, that $800 check, just depending on what you have. Okay, I know everybody have a lot of other expenses, but, and we're talking about somebody that makes $10 now. hour. We're talking about you, you, you're making $10 and you're trying to save. If you have way too many bills, you need to start cutting some things down, rearranging some things and things like that. After you've paid rent with that first check, that next check needs to be maybe a light bill. Maybe, let's say that's $100 or so. You should be able to save $500 a month out of that check out of out of these two checks and what your expenses you should be able to save five hundred dollars a month and if i save five hundred dollars that first month and then five hundred dollars the next month my balance should go from two thousand to three thousand so you just got to kind of make sacrifices for yourself and strategically put it in your mind that way i know when i first graduated college i was making twelve dollars an hour and that roughly came up to almost the same amount but I made it work. Like my, like I said, that first check was rent, all my bills. I tried to pay all my bills in that first check so I didn't touch it. I didn't do anything. I didn't think about buying anything during that time. And then that next check, I said, okay, I don't have any bills to pay. Um, so, yeah, I, I do want this one little thing, but I am going to save that money and I'm going to sacrifice. I'm going to not, get, I'm not um, go out as much. Um, I'm going to actually cook. Um, and I try to tell people, if you're trying to get out of that whole thing and really budget, have an amount in cash that you're going to take out a month and only spend that on groceries, food, miscellaneous things, brows, uh, nails, like have that amount and then only spend that. Once that's gone, you don't have any more money to be spent. That's, that's the ultimate budgeting right there like if you really 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 want to budget that's how you're gonna kind of have to do it budgeting is all about discipline it's all about discipline um like i said you gotta have a certain amount before you get a house and if you're gonna get a house you really have to consider a lot of things how long you've been at your job how much money you have in the bank? Do you have a 401k? Um, um, 
how much you can put down on it. What mortgage company are you going to go with? How much will your monthly payments be? Um, the mortgage is not going to be the only thing you have to pay for a house. You got to get homeowner's insurance. Um, HOA fees um, are also included. And just a lot of other things you got to kind of take in consideration when you're getting a house. But it is something that you will own and it's not rent. So, you know, I am the advocate right now for people buying a house. Am I stressed as heck? Heck yeah. I'm so stressed out of my mind. I don't even know what to do. But at the end of the day, I know this is something that has to be done. I can't keep spending all my money on rent just to live, what, close to downtown? Yeah, no. I need to get something I can invest. This is an investment for me. I'm not looking to live there forever, but it's definitely an investment. But yeah, definitely cutting out a few expenses is going to be what you really need to focus on. You've got to cut out the nails every two weeks. You're going to have to kind of sacrifice. Get some nail polish and deal with it for a minute. You have to make sacrifices and be strict with yourself to make these kind of choices on buying a house or buying a car or any of that. Or even getting married, you have to budget and take a lot of things out of the equation. What I want to kind of get across to you all is that you can get what you want. But you will have to sacrifice. Like I said, I am saving, what, 60 bucks by not getting cable a month? Um, that adds up. That adds up. And especially because I don't watch TV like that. I watch YouTube. So I only need internet. I'm looking for a lip liner. Where is my lip liner? But, um, but yeah, all of you can pretty much do it. Um, now, when you're looking for a car, don't go to the first dealership you see. Go all, shop around, shop on the internet. Like, there are a ton of cars that you could get on your budget, it, within your budget. And it could be a Mercedes. It can be a Mercedes. A Mercedes don't have to cost you $40,000. Only the brand new ones cost you that much. Sacrifice. Uh, getting a used car is not that serious. Like, you don't have to buy a brand new car. If anyone ever saw my car, been in my car, driven my car, you wouldn't know the difference. You would not. I have no idea why I'm using this brush. But hey, <laughs> it was clean. It was clean. Oh, and I'm using my Bobby, my Bobby Brown highlighter. I love this highlighter. I love the highlighter. I ain't put on mascara. Mascara, we like, girl. There you go, boo. Um, yeah, don't. That's a, that's what's wrong with America. We look at what people have, and we're like, well, dang, they must be making this, this, and that, and the other. Like I told y'all in my other one, I'm not even making $20 an hour. Let's just get that out of the way. And I, like I said, I have a brand new car. Not a brand new car, it's a 2012, but it's a red Mercedes Coupe. And I am buying a brand new home. Now, will I be probably sc scraping pennies um, by the time I close on my house? Yes, I will. But that's the sacrifice I'm going to make because in the long run, it will pay off for me. So, um, I'm not kind of worried about that. I am going to have a housewarming, though. So that all my so-called friends can give me a gift. <laughs> um, and help a sister out because... And that's what I... Like, all y'all having housewarmings for apartment, y'all don't even know to have. Actually, people who actually buy a house really need a housewarming because they are pretty much broke. By the time they freaking close the house, like, they broke. And they need your help. But, to each his own. Look at that. I feel like I made the foundation work a little bit. Still dark. It'll be alright. Y'all, I need to go get some lash glue super fast because I don't have any. And I have all these lashes. Let's show you. 
Look at all the lashes I have. And I have like five packs of these. Do you see how cute they are? I wanted to show you guys how they look, but I ain't got no lash glue. So, I mean, I can't show you how they look on. If there's any other questions or if you want this kind of be a continuing topic, let me know in the comment section if I left anything out. That's pretty much just like the basics of how I save. Um, so, yeah. I hope you guys really liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let's have a conversation in the comment section below. Um, if you have any real questions your real life if you want to talk about it you can message me on youtube um if you want it to be private you can definitely do that as well but if not you can message me in the comment section i will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching bye Mwah.